that's one of the reasons too that our projects on preventing discharge to homelessness when we started that we, one of the reasons was we found people often started their journey of homelessness with the discharge from hospital mm -hmm. uh, we, we see that right now what we're seeing is a lot of people coming in homeless uh, but was, we're very happy that with uh, some of our strategies, instead of starting their journey, we can end their journey. Uh, mm -hmm. Because again, as your point about disconnection and connection, that, that is exactly the whole issue. People end up in homelessness because of disconnection. The solution always relates to forms of connection. And, and what we do is we pull together the health sector, the income support sector, um, the um, uh, uh, the uh, homelessness sector, uh, you know, you know, just uh, housing. Pull those pieces together in hospital, uh, and our health um, our health teams that have access to what's been going on. Uh, you know, so sometimes it could be something as simple as they. Uh, the, they're on Ontario Works, which is, as we know, very low. Uh, they would be eligible for ODSP because of the health problems, but they don't have someone to sign the forms. Drop in, people aren't going to do that. When they're in hospital, we can actually see all that. And it's, it's actually relatively easy to get someone to, you know, to, to sign while they're already in hospital. Uh, so we've like, so that one simple thing has happened many times that ODSP is still Ontario disability support is still not a high amount, but it's certainly a lot better uh, than Ontario works and it means that they're accessing a different group of housing. So again, it's making those connections between sectors that um, knowing that people are accessing the health services a lot, can we actually help deal with that, some of those other issues at the same time, rather than just dealing with the health issue, mm -hmm. dealing with the housing status that very much impacts their health. So what happens after patients who are experiencing homelessness are discharged from the hospital? Well, we're trying to make sure, we're do doing our darndest to, to make sure that they have a soft landing. <laughs> So um, what uh, in, in our most recent study, we're just writing this, this one up, uh, we, we were um, finding about uh, over three quarters of the time we, we could actually get, get them housing. But again, with a strong community effort, and that's from the psychiatric wards, from the medical wards, a little bit less. Uh, but what we found was we also connected them with services so that when we followed them for a year, the the thought was, oh yeah, you've saved them from homelessness now, but next month, six months from now, they're gonna be homeless. We found the opposite because we connected them to supports that the, it, the, the likelihood of them being housed actually went up over time. Mm. Uh, a year out, we had 90% housed. Um, so, uh, so again, it's part of that working together. The group that we found very difficult and why we sort of revised our strategy um, about a year and a half ago uh, is that when we were only 50% successful in housing people, we looked at that and it really related to length of stay. Uh, the short, and in medical units, we had many people that were in hospital one night. Well, if someone's got 10 years of homelessness, they're in hospital one night, not a heck of a lot you can do. Mm -hmm. um, and but what we thought is what we could do was integrate them better into the housing first programs in town because some of these people although they've been homeless they they had not been accessing the homeless serving sector so could we use this ho hospitalization even if it's very brief to link them better into that uh, the, the housing and homeless services um, and so that's what we've been doing now working very closely with the city but when we looked at even that a bit over 20% that we missed in the psychiatric units, we found it was the same group. It was the short admissions that we were missing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so we've been taking that strategy overall. And if, if, it, if the admission is so short, we can't possibly house them. We, we still do something and that's link them into, link them into those community programs uh, and make, making sure that they have that support because that you can do in one day. Um, even though you might not be able to do a lot of other things. <laughs>